Hey guys, today is Tuesday, April 6, 2021. This is the third part in a four-part series on Ukemi. And today we're gonna to be looking at the back roll. Two or three weeks ago, we did the back fall. And today we're just gonna continue that into the back roll. It's gonna be very, very simple, very, very similar to the back roll. The only difference is that we're gonna use our legs a little bit differently and push over our shoulder. And if you haven't seen that video on the back fall, Check it out before you watch this video so you really get the, the feet going. In the back fall, I'm gonna kinda of go this way on an angle. So as you remember, in the back fall, we churned our hips and we churned that back foot. We kinda of went down, we reached over, and this time, we're gonna push this knee straight into this shoulder. So this is my left knee, I'm gonna push it into my left shoulder and push straight over. So as I go back, I push straight over and then I can stand up in the Kamai, okay? So let me show you with, let me show you with this angle right here. So right here, I am here, and, and again, I'm churning my hips, churning that right, that back foot. So you've gotta churn that back foot on the balls of your feet. Both feet are actually churning on the balls of your feet. I'm churning, I'm going down. Now this time, I'm, my right foot is forward, so I'm gonna push my right knee into my right shoulder, reaching over with my left hand over my right shoulder as I fall back, <laughs> and then I roll, and then I get up. Just like the front roll that we did last week, you should be getting up straight into Kamai. Okay guys, let, let's, let's look at Hidari no Kamai, and this is kind of like the old man's way to get up if you're young, and you can kind of use your arms to press up, you can actually go straight into Kamai standing up but I used to do that when I was young. I'm just do the old man way right now. So, and this is actually good for beginners too. So I'm gonna turn my hips, turn that back foot, reach out, go down, right? And I've, I'm landing here as I come up and then I go into Kamai, right? So I kinda, oh, the microphone. So this is just the basic way so that you're getting straight up into fighting stance Kamai from the back roll. You know, it's, that's kind of a very important point is to be able to do that, especially, especially when you're attacking your partner and, and they throw you and you can get up much faster and attack much faster, putting a lot more pressure on your partner to perform techniques and not wait for the setup. Okay, last time I'm gonna show you Migi no Kamai and just focusing on the whole movement and actually getting up. So from here, and this is also just really, really good for beginners, I'm out here. And you can start like that O-sensei uh, statue again with your arms out churning again, churning your arms as you turn your body, going down, pushing back, putting that foot down, and then getting into Kamai as my microphone falls out of my dogi. Today we took a look at Ushido Ukemi, the back roll, instead of Ushido Ukemi, the back fall. Now notice how Ushido Ukemi in Japanese, the way I learned it, means both the back fall and the back roll. Okay, in English, of course, it's different, but in Japan, while I was there, Ushido Ukemi was Ushido Ukemi. Whether it was the back fall or the back roll, it meant the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helping you get better at Aikido. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit Yay! that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video.